Hello and welcome back to eCabinet's Tips and Tricks. My name is Scott Marshburn and today I would like to show you um, a common occurrence that happens uh, when you first start using eCabinet's. I had a question from someone um, of why when they tried to bring a cabinet into cabinet editor or custom layout they kept getting a message of uh, material not found and uh, from the best of my knowledge I think they may be using one of the uh, libraries that they've downloaded uh, for example this library right here ECAB frame library 002 I downloaded from eCabinet's uh, website uh, when you open this library and you try to bring in one of these cabinets if you do not have a material that is in that particular cabinet it'll bring up this dialog here material not found uh, in this case it's a sheet stock and it's half inch generic drill box well you have an option you can just either add the new material just as it is or if you have a, a material already set up that is uh, this thickness one half inch and uh, your uh, under your uh, settings of preferences and define materials and sheet stock type if you have a material in here that's already a half inch thick it will give you an opportunity to select a replacement material such in this case this is half inch generic drawer box but it has an oak texture on it uh, so as you can see I have several choices I can make to uh, change that material as long as it's the same thickness it will show up so if I said okay I'm just going to click on bolted perch here and I could click replace with this material now it's saying quarter inch generic drawer box at a quarter inch thick and let's see if I have a replacement for that well yes I do I got some several replacements here so I'm going to click on quarter inch maple and replace with this material now it's telling me uh, that I don't have a material called ECAB 3 quarter P725 now if I click on available replacements I don't have any material in my uh, settings and preferences under my materials and stuff I don't have anything that's 0.725 inches so the only choice I have now is to either cancel and go in and make me a material that is 0.725 inches or just click add new now when you're dealing with these libraries like this I, I would suggest that you would just add the material that they're suggestion that they're suggesting that you use because some of these cabinets are designed with CNC operation in mind and the thicknesses of these materials uh, rely heavily on different settings uh, as I'll get into in another video but I'm just going to click add new material and now it's telling me I need a quarter inch 0.225 well I don't have anything 0.225 so I'm going to add that material now it will load the, the cabinet um, also the same thing will happen if, if it has hardware on here that you don't have set up it will ask you to add new hardware once this gets done loading I'll show you what has happened um, it's taking it a little while I'm just going to click on this door and this door and I'm going to hide click on visibility and hide selected as you can see this cabinet had rollout shelves in it and it changed that material to the material that I selected and that's all well and good but see now you're going to have to go through and um, edit this cabinet to your own personal preferences um, if you're going to be machining it um, and you're going to be using 
um, in this particular case this, this particular library was designed um, based on an average thickness of plywood being um, 0.725 um, personally and in our case where I work at we use a 23 30 seconds which is something like 0.7185 or 88 or something like that I can't remember right off the top of my head but um, if you plan on using uh, a, a thermwood machine or a CNC router to cut these cabinets out I strongly advise that you know maybe you you could take this cabinet and cut it out and test it and then tweak uh, from there maybe adjust your material thickness and, and select a new material but in any case um, what you can do is you can you can take these cabinets from these libraries here and you can modify them to suit your need and, and save them under your own personal library um, this is just a quick overview of uh, how to do something like this so stay tuned for the next video and I'll get into some more detail on how to go into your settings and preferences here and adjust all these settings so stay tuned for the next video and thank you for watching if you have any questions feel free to Post your questions and by all means subscribe and get all the latest tips and tricks. Thank you for watching and have a good day.